Hi friends, you are watching Gate Helpline and in this video, we will see question number 59 from ISRO this summer 2017 question paper. Friends, please hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon to get all the latest updates regarding Gate exam. So friends, question number 59 is, consider three CPU intensive processes which requires 10, 20, 30 units and arrive at times 0, 2, 6 respectively. How many context switches are needed if shortest remaining time first is implemented? Context switch at 0 is included but context switch at the end is ignored and the options are A1, B2, C3 and D4. So friends now we will see explanation to this question. In this question we are given that let three processes be P1, P2, P3 with arrival time 0, 2 and 6 respectively and CPU burst times 10, 20, 30 respectively. Given is the GAN chart and we will prepare this as per the inputs given. With the help of GAN chart, we will be able to get the context switches. So at time t equals to 0, p1 arrives and p1 is the only available process. So it will run till another process arrives. So friends at time t equals to 2, that is here p2 arrives but p1 has the shortest remaining time because P1 came with a burst time of 10 and after running the distance 2, it is left with 8 and P2 is having a burst time of 20. So 8 is less than 20. So we will continue with P1. So P1 will run. So friends at time t equals to 6, P3 arrives. P3 arrives with a burst time of 30. But still P1 has the shortest remaining time that is 4 because P1 came with a burst time of 10 at t equals to 0 and from 0 to 6 has already run 6. So it will be 10 minus 6 equals to 4 and 4 is left with P1. P2 has not run any distance. So P2 is left with 20 and P3 came here. So it will be 30. So the shortest remaining is P1 only. So we will continue with P1 only. So still till here only one context switch is there which is at time t equals to 0. So friends at time t equals to 10 we are left with P2 and P3 only because P1 has already finished because P1 is having the burst time of 10 and P1 has already run from 0 to 10. So P1 is finished here and we are left with P2 and P3 and in between P2 and P3 the shortest remaining time is with P2 that is 20 because 20 is less than 30. So friends next we will start P2 from time t equals to 10. So P2 is scheduled from t equals to 10. So from P1 to P2 is the context switch. At time t equals to 30, we are left with P3 and P3 is having a burst time of 30. So as we are left with only a single process, so P3 will continue from here till time t equals to 60. So friends, P3 is scheduled here. So the context switch again takes place from P2 to P3. So this is the third context switch. The first one at t equals to 0 because the newly processed p1 came here. The second one is at time t equals to 10 and third at time t equals to 30. So friends as per our discussion only three context switches are needed. First at the start and second at t equals to 10 that is from p1 to p2 and the last at t equals to 30 from p2 to p3. So friends as per our explanation answer to this question is option C that is 3 are the number of context switches that are needed if shortest remaining time first is implemented because context switch as 0 is also included here. So friends thanks for watching our video. Please like, subscribe and share our videos to appreciate our work. If you have any doubt or question please comment below.